What is up guys? It's Ford Focus 165 and today there is a new part that has been added to Odessa in Ultimate Driving on this brand new update. A new talent has been linked in to Odessa and Red Mill Cross mode. So anyways, as we're leaving Red Mill Cross Roads, we come into this brand new road, which some over here that used to be like a cliff, but now there isn't. It's extended. And yes, Nathan's right. You can see bridges. But now, let's get into Cape Ann. So as you see signs for other routes, we're first going to start with the brand new spawn that has been added in Cape Ann. That's the name of the new town. Over here is an exit to I-95. And we'll record that later. Closer to the end of the video. So yes. And someone asks who's recording. But yeah. There's a new gas station added as well. So that's a very nice addition. These houses look like the South Beast houses. But guess what? There are changes with the driveway. And yes, in South Beach there used to be like just plain old roads. But look at this. This looks like a very nice design of gravel. Or pebble. And there's probably a few more houses. There's still a plain driveway. If you go over here. Or rather here. You see this one looks more like sand. So 22 Pites did an excellent job on these houses in Cape Ann. Not only added the houses like the ones in South Beach, but has some new materials for the driveways. So now let's make a right. And we're going into the bigger part of Cape Ann. So if we turn a right here, this will lead you to the Cape Ann Park. As I added some nice additions with a block, a sign, and then some narrow roads to the park. And yes, he's right. It says Buffy beats next to it. I don't know where it is, but it seems like Nathan has a good eye. And you can see the bridge on I-95. So Cape Ann is a very nice place to go to. You can just see the bridge, especially the park. Right now you see it's just a beach. But over here with the sign and all, that's the most beautiful part about it. I really like that. A lot of people are driving on Cape Ann too. But now we have to go straight. We're on State Route 896. Here's another I-95 exit right there. To south. As you see, we're passing a power plant. And then we'll turn right there as soon as we make a right from there. But yeah, this is the end of State Route 896. And so one day, this will connect to Newark. As you see, this is an addition from Newark. So Cape Ann is a good connection. So that's just what the end right there looks like. So now we have to say bye to State Route 896 and turn on towards Route 1. So this part is another very nice touch. We're going to go on Route 1 North because they added a brand new bridge as well. And we'll go on the lower road in just a little bit. That leads to the power plant. But go up here and you have a good view. You want to be very careful though, because it's easy to either fall off 
or change the other side. So you want to be very careful while you're driving on Route 1. But yeah, this is the new addition to Route 1 at North. Also has the end right there. Now we'll continue on Route 1 South. And let me show you guys, this links towards Odessa. So, as we pass Cape Ann, we're just going full speed until this part. You can see a very nice distance of the lower road right there. Passing the road that leads towards Redmill Crossroads. And as you see, this is directly linked to Odessa. So that is a very good job right there. Cape Ann is just a very exciting part to go through. But now it's time to go on the lower road which leads to the power plant. Also known as Old Odessa Road. So you can also turn here on the road that leads to Red Mill Crossroads and make a left. And that's where it comes that leads to the power plant. Let's go towards the power plant. You can see the bridge from up there too. So there we go guys. Welcome to the Cape Ann power plant. As you see these big old buildings that look like they're generating power even though they're only a game. That's a very quick show around right there. This has some additional roads and buildings built on dirt. So it's now turning night. But as we show you guys this, we go to this road, which passes by the trucker spawn. They added a new spawn for our truckers. You can see the row of State Route 896 right there. And here it is, guys. This is the new trucker spawn, I believe. If I come here and double check. Looks like it is. So, yes. The new trucker spawn. If you guys ever wonder about trucking in Odessa, this is where it is. Now located in Cape Ann. So now we did the most of Cape Ann, but now it's time to do the part on I-95, and for Cape Ann, it counts as Exit 4. So we'll just turn a right to I-95 South. As we make a sharp turn there. So yeah, again, this is linked to I-95, so you'll see all the other exits as well. So you may be familiar with this as the exit to Red Mill Crossroads. But now let's turn around and we'll get a closer look of the exits. So if we go a little slow right there, you see exit 4. With Route 72 to Route 1 and 896, Cape Ann and New York for the exit 4. You can easily see the sign right there. Easily see that. It adds to the intersection when you first enter Cape Ann. And the road under it goes from the exit to the other side, so it's a long one. And then, of course, we got this part. So the exit right towards the other side is just right next to each other for the same direction. But now, here comes the really nice part. The bridge. For all these nice gold bars on it. Just look at it, guys. 
hat is just beautiful. Gold. So yeah, I really like this bridge on I-95. And it's a good thing that I-95 is now longer, which means people who like to farm in Odessa, well, good news, more farming for them. So now, we'll enter back into Cape Ann, and we'll end at the State Park. So this is what entering the exit is like from I-95 South, rather than leaving it. And as I said, you go under a big bridge, and this is long too. And you end up here, at the entrance of Cape Ann. And as I said in the beginning of the video, over here is parts to I-95. And my friend Vivi Bryan is following me. So yes, also south to Nathan the Fox. He wanted to be in this video as well. So I gave him permission to ride in my car throughout this tour. He knows a lot about Cape Ann as well. That's a good thing we have him for his video. But now, we are in Cape Ann State Park, and we are going to end the video there. So yes, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video very much. You may like this video. Comment in the box below for your thoughts about Cape Ann, the new town added to Odessa in Ultimate Driving on this brand new update. With the Cape Ann State Park, new power plant, truck spawn, homes with chains driveways with new materials. Cape Ann is a very nice place to visit, and you should totally go here. And especially the state park. Because yes, over there is probably just like a big parking lot of beats. But here, you could just see the really nice bridge on I-95. So what do you think about Cape Ann? Let us know in the comments. Also this video in general, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, and you may subscribe. Bye!